Yo. <sighs> right back at this video, man. Hey, man, we got, uh, does his girlfriend cheat and scam older guys out of their money, man? Loyalty test by Jack TV, man. Hey, man, look, man. Y'all know we came here to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come to do, man. We came here to get straight to the point. What we didn't come to do, man. It's all that other stuff, man. With that being said, man, let's get right to the video. Let's do it. sold on Jack TV. Ricky reached out to me because he felt like this damn, he owed Gloria was scamming them out of his money. He explained to me that he sent Gloria a lot of money that he don't want to disclose on camera. And after he sent that money, she blocked him on everything. I sent her money through Cash App, PayPal, Venmo. She I, she blocked my social media accounts from reaching her. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Snap, so as soon as you sent the, as soon as you sent the money, she, you just lost all communication with her. Uh, everything fell apart. Man, I call. Damn. So she just got down on you. See, hey, I, that tell me, fo. Not mind, fo. Not mind, fo. But I know a lot about you just off of just off of just off of just off of her sense. Just off of you saying something like that, fo. I know what type of dude you is. Oh, for sure. The picture you guys, bitch, man. She was fucking hot, but I never seen her in fucking person, man. This is some fucking bullshit. She turned out to be a fraud and everything. And god damn, man. We were on the phone, we were chatting and everything. And as soon as I was oh, so hard not to laugh. my last drop of money, she cut me off, man. She blocked me. After time passing by and Ricky sitting there actually thinking about what took place, it sent him in a depression, which led him to do his own digging. In doing so, he found out that Gloria had a boyfriend of her own, which led him to believe that this whole entire time, him and his girlfriend was scamming him out of his money. So he ended up finding out Gloria's boyfriend information and ended up reaching out. He actually had no knowledge of this at all. So Ricky, this is who you was talking to? This I is ain't God. gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a being 30. Hey. It's 2024. If my girl's scamming you out your pay, she not doing nothing physical with you, see? Hey, see? That shit on the house, my boy. I'm just keeping it a bean. If my shorty is getting over on these niggas, getting they, getting the bread out, and she come back to the... Well, he ain't knowing about it, so it's, it's kind of bad, for. But if my shorty doing that and she coming back like, babe, look, look at what I just got from this old ass man. He just, just got down on him, shit. If that's your hustle, my baby, have fun. I'm not going to question nothing. Shit, it's 2024. Let's be B. Let's keep it a B. If you, I'm just keeping it a B, folks. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He's behind you. I'm just saying. Yeah, so I met that bitch at the strip club, dude. Oh. Hey, hey, Ricky, Ricky, man. hey Ricky, be respectful, man. Look, folks. I ain't going to lie. You got to be respectful, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you speak, talk to him, right? That's his girl, bro. Be respectful, though. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I Nigga, mean, talk. Where, where are you meeting her, bro? I met that girl at the strip club, man. She, I mean, I don't know who she is, what her name is, but I mean, I met her at the strip club, but she's a fraud. She's blocked her Facebook, Twitter, Instagram accounts, and everything, man. I talked to Josh through text messages, and he seemed like a really pretty cool guy. Yeah, this week, dude, he, he reached out to me, telling me everything about my girl, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really care. So he very persistent. And I just sent her money through Cash Up, PayPal, and Venmo. Man, she's a fraud, man. You waste your time, bro. Because I am bankrupt. I am broke. I gave all that all my fucking money, man. And she took all of it. She hung me dry. I'm homeless. I have no job. I have no fucking car or nothing. Fucking bitch. Stupid little park crash little fucking cunt. You ain't never called or talked to on the phone, heard of what's none of that. You know what I'm saying? And you study sending her money? Come on, bro. That your answer right there. Oh, no, fuck right Straight up, man. The whole ordeal was kind of weird to me. So when he uh, brought up his... So my thing is, for what you trying to get out of this whole year, folks? And, and, and I'm not gonna lie, see, I'm not gonna lie, see, you homeless, no car, you just went, you, you, you bankrupt, what are you doing trying to look for hoes? My fault, not hoes, what are you doing trying to look for females, bro? What are you doing? Your priorities fucked up, gang, why are you worried about a female, gang, you ain't even got your, your bread right for, you ain't even able, gonna be able to take the girl out, you too be sending her all your bread, how you gonna get her with a take out? You know what I'm saying? So, like, what are you doing? What you doing, see? What you doing, see, like, 
I ain't gonna lie, folks. I wouldn't even have slid, folk. But I mean, if it's for the video, I guess, folk. But I'm not coming to you telling me my girl just finagled you out your pay. That ain't got, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a delivery. My Straight fault. Y'all kind of looked at each other. Why? Why? It's more about I told you so thing, but it's not my place. Oh, that's his, his homie like folks. I, said, I don't see nobody working in a strip club that ain't serving drinks, shaking ass, or uh, you recruiting. Somebody, something got to be explained. Money popping up randomly. Bro been bringing it to me for a minute. No mm -hmm. answers. Yeah. Answers. Very true, very true. I mean, that's that's where it is where I met her. I met her in the strip club. Oh, you met her? Oh, yeah, yeah, you cuffed yeah, yeah. her? No, she was a bottle girl out there. I went, I went out there with some of my homeboys, and we were out there having a good time, and she was one coming to our table and shit, and I got a number from there, and we started talking, and we really been going strong for the past couple of years. Okay, so after receiving all this- Yes! You cuffed the bottle girl? You cuffed the bottle girl? I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with bottle girls, folks, but bro, you got to understand, folks. Understand something, folks. They be in that half ass naked game. Cheeks out, damn the titties out, cleavage out, cause that's how they get their money, folk. You get what I'm saying? And you in the cuffed one? Man, you supposed to just have fun with them and send them back where they is, folk. You can't cuff no bottle girl, boy. The fuck is you doing? You, hey, hell no. Nah. You just nail them and send them back, folk. There's not nobody you cuff. No, hell no. Nah. That's them to having a female with OnlyFans. That shit ain't it, boy. You tripping. Hell nah, because you got to understand something, folk. If she gave you her number in the strip club, it'll make you think she not giving other niggas her number. That relationship don't mean nothing. Whatever. Information that Ricky basically just told you, do you feel like y'all relationship revolves around money? Absolutely. Like yeah, she, like she, she, pop, she popping up with random, random clothes, all this kind of stuff, random shoes. Always asking me for this and that, like it's really starting to make sense now. Like, really, like I'm, like I said, bro, I'm at, I'm at a strip club, bro. She was a bottom girl out there. Me and my homeboy went out to the fine. She been giving us our drinks all night, all night. Really been going strong for like two years, bro. Like really been trying to take care of this girl, bro. I really dropped everyone for her, everything. Like damn, bro. Maybe I should do some shit. So today we had our decoy, Gabriel, actually reach out to her through the Instagram a while ago. So they started talking and communicating, and today she's supposed to meet him across the street at the restaurant. She don't know that Gabriel's supposedly supposed to stay over here, but his objective is to talk to her and get her to come over. Okay. Okay, so we'll be watching everything upstairs. What time did she tell you she was coming? Okay, so yeah, she should be here in about 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and go upstairs, get everything situated, and. Hopefully you get your answer, bro. 1942 in the back. Yeah, what's good, bro? Hey, what's up, man? What's I good? watch your channel, what's bro. Up? Uh, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, what's up what's dude? Nice to meet you, man. Oh, hey, man. Can I get a picture, bro? Nah, what's up? Yeah, for sure, bro. Go ahead. Picture me, bro. I got you. Hey, man, I watch you all the time, bro. Yeah. Five, two, four, three, I got you. Hey, all right, man. Appreciate that, man. We got it. 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 Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, can you, like, show me the uh, technique, bro, so I can take back? Did you try to do it already? Hey. We ain't coming for that. I just did a whole promo, bro. We ain't coming Ricky for that. Ricky believes that Gloria preys on older men to use them for their money, so I took the liberty of hiring Gabriel as our decoy. And the plan was for us to rent out this beautiful Airbnb, pretending that Gabriel stays here, using this house as a way to showcase Gabriel's wealth. Gabriel actually been talking to Gloria for about a week now, and they decided to go ahead and meet up for dinner. What Gloria don't know is that his house... Okay, right for sure. That's a red flag through the door. What you meet up with niggas for dinner for? That's a red flag. Your girl cheating. I mean, the the, the question on the, on the on the title is, does his girlfriend cheat? Hell yeah, she meet up with niggas. It's over. Never mind. All right, it's over. From where they'll be eating. This was all planned out perfectly, so when Gabriel mentioned he stayed literally across the street, it wouldn't be too much of a hassle for her to just walk across. So Josh, Glow is on her way here. Um, Gabriel's about to make his way to the restaurant so he can meet her there. Is there anything you don't want him to do while he's conducting the test? I mean, I really, this is all kind of a shock to me. I really just kind of want to see where her headspace at. And really, he can kind of do whatever I want to see what she's up to. Okay. That's, that's really it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get you down there. Um, mm -hmm. You already mic'd up. So basically, everything's smooth. You already know what to do. I talked to Jack about it. I've never seen this girl before, but I want to see her try to get as much money as I can back as possible. Man, if you don't mind me asking, like, how much you sending her? Man, I got a check every month. I give her the whole check. How much is the check? I don't want to share that information. That's, that's, that's cool, bro. I understand. I understand. 
Alright, so Dodge, yeah, we can just go ahead and. Uh... This nigga just said he was giving her the whole check. And how he say he meet her at the strip club and he said he never seen her before? These niggas be lying. That don't even make sense. How did you how did you see her at the strip club and you never see her? Like, what are you talking about? What uh, go down to the command center and we can watch the video going on. We tried setting up a command center for today's test, but because of the area, we were only limited to listening through the mics. Cameras were set up in the house just in case Gabriel was able to get her to come over. And this loyalty test is officially about to begin. Yo, Jack, man. What's up, man? What's good, bro? Hey, bro, I know I met you for the first time yesterday, bro, but whenever I see your videos... Hey, how are you? Yeah, so we all about you know watching the dinner. She pulled up, showing up with her, bro. Like, damn, like she got some questions to answer, bro. She got some questions to answer. Tell me about Dubai. I want to hear about it. I ain't never been. So you went by yourself. Yes, it was my first solo trip, and I think it was more so like it was like a getaway. My first business that did really well. I had a hair company. Mm -hmm. It did really well, and then at that same time, it was getting hard for me to manage everything by myself with the, the shipping the vendor the marketing just everything mm -hmm. so um and then i had went through like a bad breakup a bad friendship so like i it was like literally like a getaway like i needed to get away for a mental just she coming through the door with the side story through the door she coming in on i need money that's through the door this off of her saying i had this that the third going on with my business woo 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 she coming through the door on trying to get money. That's her main focus with him too. Trying to get that paid through the door. I see it. I already see it, folks. Everything recharged, and I went and I don't know. I was, I was just scared. Like I'm not scared. I've been on my trip. I just did my third um, solo trip. Actually, I did a tri trip. So going back to Dubai. Um, when I went, I did research on it. I did. Um, hire a driver and I did like a little tour my first day so I could kind of get a feel for what yeah. everything was the idea yeah. I did the desert safari I went and did the oh, you did the whole I did the, you whole, did the whole damn thing, thing. I was okay like, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do everything so you did, did all of that solo I did all of it solo. wow yeah. that's brave I, I, I admire that mm -hmm. that's awesome then my third was with a tri-city I went to Albuquerque New Mexico for one day I did a hot air balloon ride, which is the picture you like. Yeah. And then I flew to Washington, D.C. because I had never been to Washington. I flew there. Wow, you've been all over the place. Yeah. Okay. So I like, you know, I like to see new places. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, and that's why all this is, you know, fitting because I do like nice things. And I do like, you know, I'm not just like that. Yeah. I like yeah. nice things. And, you know, I am single. And it's crazy because I am really. Single, uh, single, single. Or, Saying it twice is nasty work. Through the dough, you know she lying. You don't have to repeat your single twice. Single, single is nasty work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not like she finna get it. Yeah, I, I see what she on. Yeah, you got that money on? Understand something, fellas. There's different females in this, in, this, in this world, man. There's females that want you for your bread. There's females that want you for how you make them feel. Females that want you for status. It's females that want you. It's a lot of the reasons why females that want you for. The worst ones to have, bro, the ones that want you for your money. Because she'll never be with you, gang. And if you ever go broke or lose your money or whatever, gang, guess what? Toodles. She didn't have, you will never hear from that girl again, boy. So, that I'm taking going all this, but tell you, we don't do those, gang. We don't do those, guys. Mm -hmm. okay, Why she keep saying that, single folk? Single. <laughs> yeah, I'm single yeah, as fuck. I'm single. I ain't yeah. dating nobody. Um, what you want to do? I got some, some some ideas of what we could do. If you're down for it. Yeah. Yeah. Down. 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 That's what I like to hear. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Well, my place is actually right there. If you oh, really? Yeah. Wanna, wanna go check it out with me? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go. 
you don't live far, so maybe we can hang out at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Blow agreed to come over to our decoy's house, and she already told our decoy that she was single when she clearly has a boyfriend. We were gonna let this test go on, but since we are all the way on the fourth floor of this townhouse, we don't have a good connection to hear exactly what's going on, and we also don't want to risk the decoy accidentally bringing her up, exposing our position. Dude, there's another level up there. Okay. I just didn't want you to walk through all those stairs. You know what, though? We can take the elevator. An elevator? Yeah, come on. Yo, visual is still bad. It's cutting in and out. It's very choppy. What are we doing? Mic signals from every camera are all bad. Maybe there's a satellite in the area that's messing with everything, but... If we can go in now, we can because she didn't already show us that she failed. Yeah, been here about a year and I like it. I like it so far, so... Oh, yeah. oh I've never Give been the... in an elevator before, in a house. Give you the grand tour. Yeah, see, I told y'all, thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this is really? so wild. This is, I know, this is beautiful. Like, yeah. This is really nice. Yeah, I like it here. It's real quiet. I see that. You should come be here with me. You know? yeah, yeah, this is very nice. I, I feel like I can. Oh, man. Yeah, for she be getting, she, 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 she. She trying to get crammed, folks. See, 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 see. If she was just scamming dudes out their money, then boo. But, bro, the way she... F you feeling on my shoulder like that, see, you know, hey. I'm saying, no, you can't... You can't be touching on my shoulder like that, see. You gonna... You gonna... You gonna... You gonna... You gonna... You gonna... You feel me? You gonna get some something in me going for you. You see what I'm saying? That physical touch from a female gang when they get the rubbing up, you gon' 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 awaken something for you can't be doing that for you can't be doing that you know what I'm saying? you can't do that because hey I'm trying to tell you she out rubbing on them and head in the ch shit shouldn't he vibe here seems like it would be very tranquil. This is all you. This is, it looks like something you should be in. Oh, really? Yeah. Something I should be in with you, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. I don't want you to be in it with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. This sense is crazy, bro. I feel bad for dude who got all his money took, his whole check. He said he was homeless, this and that. Mm -hmm. Man! Yeah, man. It's crazy. According to Josh, he's seen enough to actually go in and confront her. We were only using the restaurant as phase one of his loyalty test, and she completely failed, denying any existence when it comes to her boyfriend. No, bro. I've been seen enough, bro. Like, she, she already took the bait. Took the shit, bro. Like, what she said, bro. Uh. As for Ricky, well, let's just see how she reacts to seeing him for the first time in person after allegedly taking advantage of him. I ain't gonna lie. She another than God, too. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's a loyalty test, but boy, I'm sorry, gang. Hey, I'm sorry. That's the melanin guy right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, gang. Sheesh. Really? Mm -hmm. That's what I like. And she's a little free. She's sucking on her lip. Yeah. I like the way you roll. I like the way you roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You fat little fucking bitch. Wait till I get my goddamn fucking hands on you, bitch. Bitch, bitch, bitch. You fucking took all my fucking money, you trail boy trash. Hey, bro. You rotten son of a bitch. No, you got to go, man. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Fat ass bitch. Skinny bitch. You ain't no skinny. You a fat ass bitch. Yeah, you feel little. Hey, hey, tell folks in the back, shut up, folks. He already done got finagled out of all his pay. He ain't got no room to be calling her no name, see? That's your fault, gang. You can't get mad at her for getting down on you. That's your fault, gang. Let's keep it a bean, folks. You can't, you call her all these names because you got finagled. Boy, I don't, hey, sure, you don't get that nigga a dime. Man, he don't deserve it. I'm not giving that nigga nothing, bro. Hell no, nah, you gonna nigga, no. Nah, that's your fault, gang. Man, give him the man. How much you feel bad? Feel bad for what? You know what type of dude he is, folks. Like, that's his fault. If you that desperate for a piece of a piece of cake, folks, where you spending all your bread on that girl, boy, you ain't need, you ain't even beat the buns up yet, <sniffs> nigga. You need help, boy. You need help, gang. You need help, gang. You need help, gang. 
You need help, guy. Damn. Who's this? Who's this? Who is this? I knew it. I'm, bro, you was right, bro. Bro, when we came down the stairs, <laughs> that boy Ricky, I ain't gonna lie, that boy was saying everything in the book. He was just blurting out everything. And dude, who good girl it was, he wasn't even really defending, no one even saying nothing to the nigga. Like, hey, you calling my girl this, calling her that. Man, you, you, I ain't gonna lie, she took your money, but hold that down, bro. You got some answers for me? Huh? You don't know? Oh, now, now all of a sudden you don't know. So Ricky basically reached out to me saying that he was messing with you through text message. He never seen you in real life, and he sent you a lot of money, and you ended up ghosting him on everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know him. I know yeah. you. I don't know you. I'm gonna find you. I, I, I bet you, you. I bet you feel dumb now. Yeah. What you catch me doing though? Hmm? What am I doing? What do you mean? What you doing? You out here entertaining? You was just on a whole day. Are you all day? You got sending you money? What you mean, bro? Hey, she got. She got niggas sending her some money. I'm not tripping on that. But the date and the coming back to the crib, that's where you lost me at. That's where you lost me at. Disagreeing to another, disagreeing to a date, fool. That's where you lose me at, my baby. That's where you lose me at. The, 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 the nigga sending you bread part, fool. You finagling him, fool. I don't care about that for real. For as long as you keep it honest with me, you telling me I'm getting bread from him. Boo, I don't care, fool. But the whole date, come back to his crib. You know, touchy Philly. Man, you losing me at that, my baby. You oh, losing me. Why are we doing this? What? Hmm? Why, why don't you answer that for me? Uh, did, did you not accept any money from him? I don't know. At all. I don't know. Hey, you don't. Shut the fuck up. You, you, you shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Like, you call lying. Lying how? How? You're a lying son of shit. Where's the lie? Where's the lie? I've seen you. You a lying son of shit. Hey, bro. Tell folks, shut the hell up, folks. Be quiet, gang. You just keep running your mouth because you got finesse. That's your fault, boy. Oh, God. Hey, boy, tell folks, shut the hell up, bro. Like, hey, boy, stop talking, bro. I'm talking to my girl, bro. This ain't your girl. You don't even know her, bro. Stop talking, bro. You something you finna piss me off. You know what I'm saying? Be quiet, folks. Like, bro. Everything that y'all talked about, all the money being sent, all that kind of shit. I'm, I'm ready to leave. You owe me my money. I'm gonna get you. You give his ass shit. You, you, you go to the cemetery. Your money, bro. You want to go to a short trail, <laughs> you, park slash, you know, life that mom never breastfed you milk or nothing. <laughs> you ain't gonna be fed or nothing. Suck my d, you fucking d. Bye. Yeah, bye, d. Bye. Bye. Bye, d. Bye, d. Bye, d. You milk or nothing, d. You ain't. The screenshot did everything that y'all talked about, all the money being sent, all that kind of shit. I'm, I'm ready to leave. You owe me my money. I'm gonna get you. Bitch. You, 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 you go to the cemetery. Fuck your money, bro. You want to go to a short trail park? <laughs> you, you you know life that mom never he had. said, "Fuck your money, bro." You ain't gonna be fed or nothing. Suck my dick, you fucking. Dick. Bye. Yeah, bye. Dick. Bye. 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 bye, 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 bye. <laughs> See you later, at alligator. <laughs> you got the guts of the nurse to come up here to the right back again. So, how you feeling, guys? Bro. I Bro, like, that's stupid. Dick. Oh, shut up, bro. You just got finesse. You got zero dollars back, gang. That's your fault. And it's another thing that you don't know how to charge back, boy. If you don't charge back that bread, boy, what are you doing, stupid man? Say you got scammed or something, bro. Like, what are you doing, bro? You got to know the game, bro. Man, I don't got no sympathy, folks, with the glasses, for Hey, get it, man. Watch out, man. You tripping. Here. You won't go do nothing, bro. Shut up, bro. You piss me off. I'm bankrupt, dude. That's your fault. Girl, bro. Like, give her Nigga. everything she wants. And she gonna sit here and still entertain other niggas on the side, bro? Like, it's, it's fucked up, bro. And That's I, your I, fault. I feel stupid. Because I had, I had people sitting here telling me this and that. I'm glad he ignoring folks. I'm glad he ignoring folks. Because, for you talking about a whole bunch of nothing. See, like, that's your fault, gang. That's not nobody fault but yours. It's your fault. She gave me out of like, jackass, man. Like, you got zero dollars back. Where's that bitch? Go on, little fuck. Show up on trash, bitch. No, I got still, I, I still got beef with her. It's not over until it's over. Shit. Stupid bitch. Until next time. This test was crazy. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, jack off. 
Man, folks in the back throwing me off. 